Right, goodbye 2019 and hello 2020. Okay, 2020, here we come. Hello everyone, uh, first off, Happy New Year 2020. And I thought I'd just go through what I'm planning to do with my channel in the new year and some of the highlights from 2019. Uh, well, first off, I had a video which hit over a thousand views, which for my little channel was very rare, but pretty cool. Uh, it was a Banana Splits trailer reaction, which I never get numbers that big. I'll probably never get a over a thousand views again, but I just thought that was pretty cool. I know they say it's not about the views, but I just thought it was cool. Another highlight, uh, I did have 300 subscribers. I was over it for a little bit. And then I've noticed this re really weird thing happens. You'll get a couple of subs and you'll lose a couple. I don't know if it's just me or it's happening to other people. Uh, and Horror Down Under is starting to get some momentum. Uh, I know I haven't done one in a while. It will be back this year. I got quite a few lined up. I do like doing that. That's probably one of my favorite things to do on here. Because um, a couple of those, especially the Crocodile movies, got a fair amount of views for me. Triple figures is a fair amount. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and it's always nice when your uh, channel has kind of a signature series. Yeah, so be on the lookout for the new new ones soon. Okay, and I guess that's a good way to segue into next year. You know, I think first I'll talk about the whole Copa thing. Uh, I'm not going to change anything that much. I've put my channel on Not For Kids. Uh, some of the games I play I've restricted to over 18, especially with some of the violent horror games I've been playing. But I think the thing with the Copa is it's kind of sad that people have deleted their whole content. I think if you put your channel as not for children, you should be alright. But I do agree, there should be a middle section. There's either not for kids or for kids. There's no general audience, which I think there should be in this case. I'm not worried about it. It's like I said, I'm not going to change anything. I've got my channel marked as not for children. And I, I don't think people should panic too much about it. Uh, I don't think they're going to look at over how many YouTube channels there is. Okay, that's enough about cover. Because I'm over it. Uh, I do plan. I do plan on doing more gaming content. I know not everybody's into gaming content, but that's fine. Um, not everyone's a gaming, but not everyone's a gamer. But I want to do gaming content. That's the thing about YouTube. It's your channel, so you can do what you want with it. Uh, yeah, but I get a variety of things. So. Um, I'm thinking of doing some older movie reviews. A lot of the times I do new releases, apart from when I was doing the Slashback Challenge, which kind of dropped out towards the end. Just busy. Yeah, another thing, yeah, I'll keep doing trailer reactions. I know not everybody likes trailer reactions, that's cool. Uh, but mine are a bit different. I'm not the yelly type, screamy type trailer reaction guy. I'm pretty much the opposite going, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep doing it, because I enjoy it. And I also like to find movies that people might not have heard of or didn't know about. And what the hell does that say? Oh, schedule. I can't read my own writing. Am I going to have a schedule this year? No. I know some people say it's important to have a schedule on YouTube, and maybe it is, but... The reason I've never had one is because I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it on a certain day. Weekends, Fridays, or weekends is usually the time when I do most of my videos. I, I mean, I admire people who do have a schedule and who, and who stick to it, but I'll be honest, I wouldn't be able to stick to it, to be honest. Because, you know, sometimes it's just, sometimes you just don't want to make videos. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. And speaking of uh, 
other things I might I haven't decided if I'm going to start doing some live streams now and then but thanks to everyone who supported me uh, I've been lucky in that I've mostly had positive comments uh, had a few dislikes but I don't care so thanks to everyone who's supported me thanks to everyone who's commented watched liked even disliked I've had a few but I don't care it's it's just fun so Thank you everyone. I uh, look forward to seeing what you're all doing in the new year. I'm Adam and I'll see you again soon.